It's the end of the year, and as usual, many people are now giving their predictions for what they believe will happen in the year 2015. Gas prices are as low as it's been since 2008, and as many have pointed out, the economy collapsed a short time afterwards, when the rug was pulled from under our feet, when people lost their homes and jobs were lost, a downward cycle that apparently occurs every seven years since the last Great Depression. I don't necessarily care to make videos about economics and politics because it's not really that important to me on the grand scheme of prophecy. I don't need to look at tons of reports to tell me what's going to happen because my God has already told me what will happen in the Bible. That everything we could possibly imagine could go wrong will go wrong and get worse. The Bible refers to this as the birth pains of the fourth kingdom, as the four horsemen wreak havoc. And I keep it this simple when it comes to the hell that will and is breaking loose across the globe. This video was made to make a connection I don't really see being made anywhere else. This is for those who believe that a number of false flag operations of some type are in the works for 2015. I don't get all hung up over what type of event they may have planned for us like I used to before I started making videos over a year ago, but recently, the media hype machine about cyber attacks has gotten my attention. Because this is something that many people, including me, have experienced firsthand in many different ways. There are websites out there cataloging the many different cyber attacks that have occurred over the last few years, and there were an estimated 32 attacks within this last month alone, the apparent attack on Sony included. Thousands of people reported Christmas Day problems on the Xbox Live and PlayStation gaming networks as a band of hackers took gleeful credit. The networks, which allow users of the popular consoles to play the video games with a wider online community, first crashed on Wednesday evening and the problems persisted into Christmas Day, enraging many users, but especially those powering up new machines from Santa Claus. A hacker group called Lizard Squad claimed responsibility, saying on Twitter that it toppled both networks with so-called distributed denial of service attacks. The tactic involves overwhelming Sony and Microsoft servers with unexpected and bogus user traffic. The group wrote on Twitter Thursday, adding a similar line about Sony, quote, Jingle bells, jingle bells, Xbox got ran. Oh my fun it is to troll of you morons. Hey, Xbox and PlayStation responded Thursday saying they were working on the problem and investigating. Personally, I think the mere idea that a government will give a rat's ass about how their leader is portrayed in a foreign movie is ridiculous. But when it comes down to it, I don't really care, because I'm all about motive. For propaganda of this type to have an effect, they have to create a climate of a perceived threat to what is called sociological propaganda. The ground must be prepared sociologically before they can engage in direct propaganda. You cannot sell the ground without plowing it first. Propaganda of the word must be followed by the propaganda of the deed, and the government will carry out this deed themselves if they have to. Okay, so here's the bottom line. The impression the media is trying to implant in your mind with news pieces like this is that there is a new Al-Qaeda-like cyber threat out there somewhere ready to attack our nation's infrastructure at a moment's notice. Our bank accounts, even our nuclear facilities, could be at risk of a security breach. And you can imagine what kind of draconian Patriot Act-like legislation will be pushed after this breach occurs. First, it was the Red Scare of Communism, when they had us hiding under our beds in fear of a nuclear attack from Russia. Then it was rogue nations. Then it was Al-Qaeda. Then it was ISIS. And the next perceived threat will likely be cyber terrorism. And as this is happening, the high machine about asteroids will intensify preceding wormwood. And the last card will be the ultimate deception of an extraterrestrial presence. So keep this in mind as time goes along. The moment you connect, you lose control. I can target anyone, anything, anywhere. They're moving the money. No fingerprints, no trace. No mercy. What do we know about this guy? A cyber criminal blew a reactor at Taiwan. And that's just what we know about? To catch this guy, we're gonna need a black hat hacker named Hathaway. He's a genius coder serving 15 years. If you want my assistance, I want you to commute my sentence. Do you have any idea how much progress you're gonna make on a strike this complex without someone like me? Zero. This isn't a negotiation. 
Well, I just made one. This is the code section right here. It looks incomplete. He's still writing, but what for? The guy we're working will take out a city and not think twice about it. Don't evoke 9-11 on me. Stay down! China, now Chicago. This is only the beginning. Is he political? Any terrorist declaration? No claim, no statement. What does he want? This isn't about money. This isn't about politics. To you, this is all just a game. A virtual world. You are never in the game. Whatever's next is right in there. Can you crack him? Isn't that why you brought me here? You get discovered, you're dead meat. Do you know what your guy did? Hack into the NSA and defense. Bring him in. You have to run. I'm gonna stop him. With a guy this dangerous, it's all about if I can get close enough, fast enough. You're no longer in control. The real hit is still to come.